Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Matthew again, another episode of Wadi's channel. Uh, this will be the second episode I make today. Um, I'm probably going to stop after this video and uh, come back down here later on tonight and uh, make a few more videos. So I, I'm trying to get all of these comparable LJN videos knocked out because, you know, they're some of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite series to make, so... And uh, I can't complete all the ones I want to. Unfortunately, I'm still waiting on certain figures to come in. And I'd like to come in and actually be able to, you know, make a video for all the figures. So I did get a new, what is it, a Million Dollar Man uh, silver, uh, silver suit from a seller. So I did a video about the Legion of Doom um, a couple weeks ago. And I mentioned that I wasn't going to go back and, and buy from the seller again. But, you know, I believe in second chances, and just because you have one bad experience doesn't mean every time you buy from a seller it's going to be a bad experience. Well, I bought from the seller again, uh, made two new purchases from the seller. He ended up sending them in the same package. One of them I was crazy excited about. It was a, a carded LJN, uh, what was it? A, that wasn't a Corporal Kirshner. Um That one was a separate one. What was it? Ah, Ventura. That's who it was. It was uh, Jesse Ventura. So, as we know, carded LJN figures, to find one less than $200 is impossible. So, it was. I'm not going to go out and spend tens of thousands of dollars, you know, buying carded LJNs. That's just not going to happen. I'm, I'm perfectly content with, uh, with the loose figures. But I do want to have at least five carded LJN figures. That's my goal right now. At least five at some point in my life. With one of them being one of the original five card backings. So, uh, I don't know. Iron Sheik, Andre the Giant, it don't matter. Just to have those first five figures on the back, that's one of the carded figures I want. And any other four carded figures, it don't matter. So, I put a bid for auction. I won. And the seller decided to put it into one of those little plastic mailers. No added protection, no box. I was so ticked off. That that thing came in. I'm like, why would you send it in a mailer? Uh, I opened it up. Sure enough, the package was completely destroyed. And, I mean, I don't want to say broken hearted. That's just, that's just uh, going to the extreme. But it just goes to show him that, that this man clearly doesn't care about uh, his, uh, his buyers. Uh, so... First time he sent me a product with with a decapitated head. Second time you with the million dollar man, no protection, just throws in a mailer. A third item, which was the carded LJ, and which are super crazy expensive, and you think that you'd want to make sure that this is uh, fully taken care of, and the package was just completely destroyed. Uh, I was thinking about keeping it just for the simple fact that I needed the bubble. You know, I actually bought some card backings, and I have a Jesse Ventura card backing, and I'm pretty sure that the the figures, the Jesse Ventura figures I own, are a whole lot better than uh, what I got. So the figure inside looked like he had been used. I mean, just not a brand new figure. So overall, bad experience. Uh, forgot his screen name, C W C Wirtz, something like that. I, I won't be going back again. Uh, one bad experience, fine. Two bad experiences. You know, you, I, you don't know what the issue is, but you know, three bad experiences. I mean, that's that's a pattern, and uh, and it's sad because I think a lot of people can agree that you know I, I'm a pretty good you know repeat buyer. So you know, for me as a customer, I think it's important, and to lose my business, I mean, that's that's going to be a huge loss, I think. But we're not talking about that right now. Uh, we do want to dive right into the next LJN comparable figures. This time I selected Series 5 Hulk Hogan. Uh, call it Series 5, call it Series 6 because they did re-release them on Black Card later on. So I'm going to start with the originals and then we'll get we'll dive into some of the uh, custom figures. So first one is probably my, my favorite among the original line which is the Hulk Hogan White and Red. Now this one's beat up, but I mean they normally are. And uh, you got the Hulkamania, of course. Looks and look to be in pretty good shape there. Give you a 360 of the overall figure. You know I've bought a number of these figures. I've sold a couple. 
and you know what they're not quite as rare as you might suspect because like I said I mean I'm seeing these on auction all the time you know occasionally I'll win a few here and there but not 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 too often I think once it hits a certain price you, you gotta realize that you know if you're buying it for resale value you know I like to buy certain figures put them in lots and that way be, make it more appealing to to sellers but once it gets to like a hundred hundred twenty dollars you know you're never gonna get that back so you know if I'm buying it for the first time for my personal collection yeah I'll spend hundred twenty five dollars on it no problem but Unless it's selling for like 50 bucks, I mean, you're, you're never going to really turn a profit, and that's never going to happen, so. I don't really bid on this as often as I had in the past, but that's okay. Uh, I think I have enough. Uh, original white shirt uh, Hogan from Series 5. Now, this one actually came from Random Treasures, and for good reason. If you were to find a Series 5 red shirt Hogan, or Series 6, of course, like I said, they, they re-released them. You would not be able to get this for less than four hundred dollars. You know, I'm es estimating on, on this type of figure. I've seen this guy sell an auction, and he gets up to about two, three hundred dollars. And once it gets way out of my price range, I, I pretty much stop on uh, kind of looking at it. But I mean, for one hundred thirty dollars through Ram Treasures, you know, why not? You're getting an exact uh, replica, and that's what it's all about. So, red and yellow. Hulk Hogan. So it, it pretty much it is the exact same figure. I mean, no difference. Same body type and everything. Uh, even has the same Hulkamania on the t-shirt. Two great figures. This is kind of like the Hogan Hasbro uh, Series 2 with the bear hug. Aesthetically, it looks incredible. You know, display-wise, so good. Probably makes it the best figure of the entire entire line, but then when you get into actual playability and wanting to wrestle with these guys, you know you can't really do too much with them. So they falter towards the bottom of the list as far as playability. Still, two incredible figures. Uh, the very first custom I bought. This one came from uh, Stinger GQ, and it is the American Made Hulk Hogan. So. Uh, recently, I did a, a review of the Series 1 Hulk Hogan that was painted to look like this. And I said that I thought maybe the, the artist was going for this type of look. I, I recently went on YouTube and found a, a video. Uh, someone's putting up a bunch of Hulk Hogan matches. And there was one from 84, I want to say November, maybe August of 84, where he had a championship match with uh, Greg Valentine. And, you know, he was all decked out in all white. You know, white shorts, uh, white knee pads, white shoes. And then there was another one where he was facing off against, uh, I want to say it was Big John Studd I was watching. And uh, that may have been 85. I don't think that was 84. So 84, 85, he was facing Big John Studd. And he had this outfit on with the blue trunks and boots and the white knee pads. And um, I can't, I think he actually had the American made either for the stud battle or for the valentine battle but either way it finally gave me a source to to compare it to so it's not just you know someone using another figure to, to try and mold something similar it actually does have you know some kind of background to, to to compare it to so that's pretty that was pretty cool to learn about that again matches in 84 i wasn't even born yet so i obviously never would have seen those so American May, this is probably the best figure I have, but I still don't know if I consider this to be my favorite. Uh, the great one, Stinger GQ, I mean, he provides some of the best customs, so the man definitely has an amazing eye. Uh, this one, I'm going to go to the Random Treasures. Great figure, Rip Thomas from No Holds Barred. I've seen this for months, never bought it, and then I'm like, you know what, once I got the Zeus figure, I had no choice, I had to get this, and in fact, I could be wrong, I think I may have bought this, and then right after I bought it, got it in, maybe shortly after the Zeus figure popped up, so that means I wouldn't have bought this because of Zeus, I bought this just prior to Zeus coming out, and to have Rip, um, Rip Thomas, it, it, was, uh, it was a great uh Great addition to the collection. 
and I, I kind of had a feeling it was something I was going to get eventually. I also asked about doing this for Series 1, but I just at the end of the day, I just think the Series 5 Hogan looks better uh, for, than the Series 1 as, as far as uh, display purposes. Obviously, if you're using it as a wrestler, nothing beats the Series 1 Hogan. But we do have Rep Thomas, and of course, when you watch the No Holds Barred movie, he does come with that beautiful white and gold belt. So, just so amazing. Awesome figure. This one, this one came from the last uh, overhaul uh, of the, from Stinger GQ. And it is a yellowed shirt and shorts Hulk Hogan. Now, this, of course, is the Hulk Hogan I, I know and love. You know, a lot of these other colors, to me, this is, this is it. This is the predominant one. And, of course, you, you're so used to, like, watching Hulk Hogan into the ring, sit there, tear his shirt open. I think us as kids, I can't think of a single child who probably didn't do the exact same thing. I can't even say how many t-shirts I destroyed. <laughs> of course, I was never strong enough to tear my shirt. So what did I do? I grabbed a pair of scissors, cut a little hole in the chest. And so every time I wanted to be Hulk Hogan, just kind of tear... <laughs> uh, Hulk Hogan in yellow, all around again. I when I did the Stinger GQ review about this particular, trying to block that that light from the overhang. I don't know if you guys, if it's really distracting you, but it's definitely distracting me. <laughs> uh, Hulk Hogan, and then this came from, I can't remember what video it was. I want to say video sixty five uh, when I did the review of the Stinger GQ uh, figures. If it wasn't episode 65, it was somewhere in the neighborhood of, of that video. Now, these two are actually just came in today. And they, they're part of, I don't know how many figures I got today, maybe 20 or so. And uh, they're all incredible figures. And I can't wait to do a, a review of each one of these figures that came in. So the first one is going to be a yellow and red Hulk Hogan. So it's not quite this one the original and it's not quite the <laughs> the last one but either way this is an absolutely gorgeous piece and again I'm gonna try and block that light because I'm gonna have to change position because uh this backdrop ain't working now with that light kind of like right in our faces just so well done well painted I mean, the glossiness of the shirt, and especially the trunks and knee pads. I mean, this is such a beautiful figure. This is top quality right there. Whoever did a paint job on this, you know, they are just... I, I like Raider Nation. I like that Kenny Lester puts his initials on the bottom. You know, kind of note, tells you who the artist is. And if you ever get one of those figures in the future, huh, oh, KL, you know... For me, having so many of his figures, I know when I see those initials, exactly who they came from. Of course, I only get Kenny Lester figures from Raider Nation, so you know, you're not going to find that from anyone else. Not really, I don't think, but Hulk Hogan. So this is actually a lot shorter video than I thought it would be. Uh, probably going to take me to about 18 minutes or so, kind of like the last one. So this is probably my all-time favorite version and it is the Hogan uh, custom, which, where's the original at? Here it is. So, you have, and again, this is Ram Treasures, so technically they're both customs, but uh, this is the original with quotes, original, and then the custom. So, you know, both did exceptional work on this figure. Because of the skin tone, I don't know if you can really make it out, but the skin tone with this figure, you can actually tell that this actually was a real LJN figure compared to the, the lighter, you know, rubber that custom, that uh, Ram Treasures uses. So it's probably the reason why this is my favorite among all of the Hogan Series 5 figures. And... I don't know, having this, if this is, a, you know, an original LJN, of course, do I really need the, the, uh, Ram Treasures version anymore? 
I'm not going to sell it. I mean, but I just just curious if I should really try to hold on to it or in the future if I do try and sell a figure here and there, this might be one of those that 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 goes out. I mean, I think even a, a custom would would still be appealing to some buyers. But again, now here here's the thing about this if yes it's repainted but it is still an original uh original figure and with the original paint scheme uh they just you know obviously beautified the figure to an extent you know making it a lot more glossy making the, the, the color a lot more thick do i classify or can you really classify this as a custom with a new paint job I think because it wasn't the original colors, you have to classify it as a custom, but I don't know. I, I probably wouldn't. Not really. But either way, Series 5, Hulk Hogan. So that gave me, let's see, we got three, five, seven Hogans from Series 5. And I'm sure there's going to be more coming in the future. I mean, that's one of my most common purchases. And um, if I do come back here tonight, make another video, I really want to dive into the Series 1 Hulk Hogan uh, comparable figures, but I'm still waiting on one more figure, which is it's just going to be a original San Francisco Toymakers Series 2, I believe, or maybe Series 3 Hogan. Uh, so they're going to take a Series 1 LJN and, and basically paint it like that. So that one might come in another month or so. Uh, right now, uh, my buddy Eric, who's doing my my, my projects for me, uh, I let him know that hey, just you know, ship them all when they're all finished. So if that takes a month, then I get it in a month. If it takes six, so be it. But I mean, there are just so many duplicates, so many comparable figures. So it doesn't have to go straight to the, the next Hogan. Uh, it's just one of those figures that I'm definitely looking forward to 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 reviewing. All right, folks. Uh, so we are at 17 minutes plus, and I think this is a, a good time. Um, don't want to, don't want the videos to run too long, and I definitely don't want them to be way too short. So, I think this is a good uh, time to end the video. Again, thank you everyone for your support and for watching these videos. I really do appreciate it, and I will talk to y'all soon. Goodbye for now.